Da-da. Yes. Hello. So today I went through lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, I think I got in six hours. So plenty. I think that'll do for today. Um, but we started. I'll tell you a story. No. Um, we started on sculpting the metal. That's uh, actually here. I'll, uh, this is the low res model. Um, and down. Oh yeah, the music. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, the music. I mean, not the music. <laughs> the model. Where is it? Um, um, where'd it go? It's, it's somewhere here. <laughs> this one. Okay. So, this one. Um, let's see. We started out by modeling the, some of the metal bits down here. And then laying out the stone like getting the parts of the floor arranged one to the next and the broken pieces on the end and then modeling in the terrain out here um, this of course you know I only did parts of it and due to that I already had notes and it was good I just continued forward with the uh, files from the l lesson um, that were supplied but I did follow along through all the tutorials and, and you know just said okay I already did this for a while I already have the notes. So anyways, here's the the final render in Marmoset. It's, you know, really noisy, but eh. It's a render in Marmoset of the... Um, just the sculpt without any textures or anything like that. So then we went on to uh, how to sty uh, stylize texturing, um, which first was splitting up um, these into different parts, like the stone, uh, one of these grates, the floor right here and then each of the uh, tiles on the ground and that is in a scene perhaps over here no I only have this yes sadly I only have this um, well anyways you'll have to take my word for it split all these into different little individual pieces and so the whole scene is actually made up of only s basically six different parts um, but yes, so split up the parts and then uh, figured out how to prepare meshes for being, for having normal maps created, which includes like making sure there's no actual holes so that when the normal maps are created, it, uh, when this program right here, XNormal, creates normal maps and ambient occlusion maps, it, where it finds where the light falls into holes, it doesn't just fall through and cause errors, it actually falls down, hits a point, and then stops. Which is why this right here, I think, I think this, nope, not that one. Which is why this was created, yes. So this guy, see how it's got the, you know, a thing underneath it. Um, and that's in order to keep light from falling through there too heavily. <gasps> Anyways, and uh, then we went through and created a low polygon mesh, uh, which looks something like that, if it will show it, hopefully. It's not on a layer, that's the UV for it. Apparently it's on a layer. Let's just show that. Alright, there we go. So yeah, here's the low poly mesh. But we went through and um, cleaned up some of these. Uh, there were like little bunches of polygons in the corners that went all sorts of wrong, so had to go through and merge verts and do a little cleanup on that. And then, do do do, um, cleaning low poly, and then creating UV maps, which again is where X normal comes in. So as long as you got a really clean high res and a really clean low res, then X normal can generate um, these wonderful, spectacular um, maps like this where the ambient occlusion map is super nice and clean. Um, whoop, no, there we go. Yeah, so it creates really, really clean maps. And same with the normal map. And yeah, so a lot about learning how to set models up for normal map and ambient occlusion map generation. And next up... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, and then um, getting Marmoset again set up for... Uh, being able to uh, view each of these. So as I edit each of these maps, when I hit save, Marmoset will automatically update them so I can check out how it's doing. And you see there's only this small amount of detail on this model, but, you know, 
when you rotate through the light, or say you had a flashlight pointed at it or whatever, it looks like there's a lot of detail. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's, it's quite neat. And so yeah, over here is all the different maps loaded in to be on this piece of geometry. And see if I get rid of the normal and that one. See, it's just the geometry, but you put those on and hooray! Um, so anyways, yes, and next up is uh, editing the specular map, which is where, or what color light bounces off. So some things need to bounce off gray color, some things need to bounce off red color. Um, yes, and the, the one that actually is in charge of how much light bounces is called, um, some call it a spec map. No, not the spec map. That's the one I'm working on next. Uh, a roughness map. That's it. Um, so yeah, got a lot done. Um, uh, working on Comic-Con stuff apart from that. Next. Hooray! Um, the costume's getting so close. She's doing very wonderful. You're gonna jinx it. She's doing good. Um, so, anyways, hope everybody had a wonderful Sunday. Um, and, yeah, hope the rest of the weekend, what's left of it, goes well. And I shall catch you tomorrow. Yes, uh, peace.